Justin Trudeau just returned from his first official visit to India. The trip was supposed to strengthen ties, but it was, by all accounts, a disaster. Now, that's just not me saying that. A Washington Post headline actually read, Trudeau's India trip is a total disaster. <laughs> Critics allege that the trip was more of an extended vacation since Trudeau met with almost no Indian government officials, but he did find time to take a few pictures. <laughs> he didn't exactly get the warmest of receptions. A CNN headline read, Justin Trudeau snubbed by Indian government on official trip. Prime Minister Modi didn't even meet Trudeau at the airport. Instead, he was met by the junior minister of agriculture. In Canada, our parliamentary secretary of agriculture is Jean-Claude Poisson. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> but if they sent Jean-Claude Poisson to pick me up at the airport, I'd feel snubbed. <laughs> Normally, when the prime minister travels, people only talk about his socks. <laughs> he sure fixed that. Some people felt he overdid it on the traditional Indian dress. And by some people, I mean everyone. For example, this is how Stephen Harper and Jean Chrétien dressed when they visited India. Justin, he went for more on-the-nose approach. One Indian headline said that Trudeau was dressed too Indian even for an Indian. <laughs> and it'd be like if Prime Minister Modi came to Canada dressed like this. <laughs> Crazy. Trudeau's visit was the most embarrassing thing to happen to India since Apu. <laughs> Trudeau was there to sell Canada, and he did his best to tell them about our country like only our Prime Minister can. And we celebrated the 100th anniversary of Canadian Confederation. Actually, it's 150 years old, Justin. <laughs> Not his best work. He did come back with a trade deal, however. Here he is announcing it. We're able to announce today uh, over 5,000 new jobs in Canada uh, and uh, over a billion dollars of investment in Canada. Wow, that's pretty good, right? A billion dollars invested in Canada? That makes the whole trip worth it. The Prime Minister actually misspoke there. 250 million to Canada, 750 million to India. Oops. So, India is investing a billion dollars in Canada. Canada is investing 750 million in India. Well, same thing. At least he didn't do any embarrassing dancing. <laughs> At this point, you'd think it couldn't get any worse. Well, <laughs> you'd be wrong. It was revealed that a liberal MP had invited a convicted attempted murderer to a reception in India. This man, pictured with Sophie Trudeau, was convicted in 1986 of attempting to assassinate an Indian cabinet minister on Vancouver Island. Some world leaders worry about assassins overseas, but not Justin. He brings his own! <laughs> so after being ignored, Trudeau was finally getting some attention from the Indian press. Mr. Trudeau, I want to ask one question. Why did you invite a Khalistani terrorist for your reception? Eventually, Prime Minister Modi did show up to hug Justin. Of course he did. It was the only way for Modi to get him to go back home. And look at the guy in the back. His hand is already on the car door handle. Hey, Justin, your Uber's here. Time to go! Justin's trip to India seemed like a panicked, desperate attempt to court Sikh voters back home in Canada. I wonder why that was. Justin, if you want to woo Canadian voters, the best place to do that is Canada. Subscribe to our all-new channel for videos every day throughout the season. If you need to catch up, check these out. If you've already subscribed and you're all caught up, well, then I am proud of you. I really am.